Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, eternal God, Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy. God, we thank you for smiling upon us. God, we thank you for being the awesome God that you are. God, we thank you for looking beyond all our faults and seeing our needs. God, we do give you the praise and we do give you the glory. We magnify your name, O oh great Jehovah. And in your precious name, I pray today. Amen, amen. I would just like to say I give all honor and glory to God for being the awesome God that he is, the way maker, the door opener. Today, my message that I'm going to discuss is I've got a testimony. I got a testimony. Testimony is defined in law and in religion. Testimony is a solemn attestation as to the truth. Evidence given by witness or the end or under oath or affirmation. Testify, the word testify means in simple terms to tell the truth. Out of the word testimony, you can pull out the word test. See, in order to get a testimony, then you must face different tests in your life at some point or another. A test, in other words, is a fiery trial or experience that we have to face in our lives. All of us, no one is his ill. We all have to face and experience tests in our life at some point, at some time. But after going through your hard times, your difficult times, your lonely days, your sleepless nights, and after coming out victorious, this do gives you a reason to praise the Lord and bring forth a testimony. A reason to praise God, to clap your hands, to sing your song, rejoice, and even do a holy dance. Can I get just one witness right now? I know that God is a good God. You ought to just taste and see how good he really is. You see, God is sweeter than the honey in the honeycomb. Yes, when I look back over my life and I think over all that God has brought me through, I can truly say that I do have a testimony. I have a testimony of victory, not a testimony of defeat. That's why I can tell the Lord, thank you. Turn with me, church, to Psalms 34, beginning at the first verse through the fourth verse. It begins to say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, God's praise, the praise in my mouth shall continue to be in my mouth. It brought me out all right. God brought me out all right. You know, I've heard people testify that the doctor gave them a bad report. But when the tests came back, God had did a turnaround. You see, my soul, the scripture goes on to say, Psalms goes on to say, my soul, my soul shall boast her in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought at the Lord and he heard me. And then he delivered me from all my fears. See, the results of your tests, my tests, ought to cause and produce an any high praise in our life. You see, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and I will be exceedingly glad, because when I think how far God has brought me. Psalm 61, 1 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, to God, all ye lay. Well, turn with me to Daniel 3, 16 through 28. I want to discuss three young men that can declare if 
they was here right now, they could begin to tell their testimony of victory. Yes, they had to go through a test, a great test, great trials, but they came out victorious. It goes to say that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But then they went on to say, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we would not serve thou God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was King Nebuchadnezzar, he was mad, he was full of fears, and the form of his vision had changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it won't be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men was bound. They put them on their own clothes, their own hosen, their hats, their other garments, and they was cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. In other words, these three was dressed for their victory. See, the harder the test is, the greater the testimony of victory will be. Is anybody going through a test right now? Then wait on your testimony. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished. He rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. See, King Nebuchadnezzar, in his mind, he had doubt against his God. He believed and he knew that there was something different about the three boys. And he let me read this again. And he said, Lo, I see four men loose. Walking in the midst of the fire. They have no hurt. And the form of the form is like the Son of God. See, one thing I like about God is God will step in the midst of our troubles and bring on victory. God not afraid to defend, offend us, take up for us when the adversary throws everything he can at us. But see, Nebuchadnezzar began to say, but I know that we cast in three, but behold, it's a fourth person there. And then he said, this fourth person is like the son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and the bidding go, ye servant of the most high God, come forth. And what I like about the story is, these three boys, they never was smoke. Their clothes wasn't filled with smoke. They had no scent of burntness on them. God held by the fire and he protected them. But it said when the king called them forth, it said, then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego step out of the midst of the fire. They See, a lot of times when we're going through, we be afraid. And we're going through, we don't know how to trust and depend on God. And we feel that our selves is, will take us through, but we find out it's a hopeless situation. But it says, then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes, the governor, the captain, the king's counselor, being gathered together, they saw these men upon whose bodies the
the fire had no power. Nor was the hair of the head singed. Neither were their clothes changed. Nor the smell of fire had passed over them. Those boys had a testimony. But in their, in their ordeal, it caused a change to occur on the king. Because the Bible goes on to say that then Nebuchadnezzar spake and it said, Blessed be the God of Sherah, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angels and delivered his servant that trusted in him. It had changed the key words and yield their bodies. That they may not serve or worship any other God except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego God. You see, if you ask these boys, these boys had a testimony of victory. And not only them, but if you go back to Daniel, which was in the lion's den. Daniel could also give you a testimony how the day that they cast him into the lion's den, the lions began to become a vegetarian. They didn't eat no meat that day. And then if you go and ask, you just want one more testimony. You go to the lady with the issue of blood and she began to say, I know that it was the blood that healed me. I am a living testimony. See, my testimony proved that I would bless the Lord at all times. My testimony proved that, yes, I am victorious. No matter what I have to face, as long as I stay focused. My testimony proved that God is worthy of all the honor and all the praise. My testimony proved that I will bless the Lord at all times. Let everybody that have breath, we ought to learn how to praise and worship God. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, eternal God, I thank you for the victory, God. I even thank you for the tests that I had to go through. I thank you for the tests that we all have to face in life sometimes. Because God, if we stay focused and we keep our eyes on you, that test will unfold to be a testimony. Not a testimony of defeat, but God, a testimony.